morning and welcome back to the channel. It's me, it's Jim, it's Monday. We are in the start of a new week. Now, for me, <laughs> it's going to be quite a short week, certainly as far as the channel is concerned, because Thursday, it's time for Download. Download Festival, a uh, rock metal festival that I go to with a few of my buddies every year. And uh, the time has come round again. So I'll be only probably doing a couple of videos this week and then sort of hopefully sort of back into the swing of things again next week. Uh, there'll be obviously a, a download um, wrap up video uh, to come, maybe not next week, but at some point soon. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to listen to something which is not metal, something which is a bit different, something to sort of get me, uh, just sort of set me in a sort of a, in a, in a different place. And this is an album that I have been wanting to listen to for so long. Uh, Radio Gnome, Invisible, Part 1 by Gong. And uh, this is uh, it's a, a absolutely legendary, as far as I'm concerned, a legendary, legendary record that um, in my formative years, I was about sort of like 16, 17 years old, and uh, was, uh, you know, doing things that 16, 17 year olds do, uh, we listened to a lot of Osric Tentacles. And this was a record that was spoken about in revered voices and hushed tones and this is one that everyone should be listening to and was spoken about like uh and i and it sort of kind of evaded me and i never 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 heard it now i got this um a couple of eh, how long ago a few months ago uh and it's been sitting there uh wanting to listen to this and i know that this has got steve hillage in it um I don't know who else, but it's absolutely bonkers. Uh, the artwork in here is just... I mean, it really is a very, very psychedelic, uh, stonery, um, and just sort of... Oh, that's just, as I say, completely crazy bonkers. Um, I don't know. Have we got any names on here? There's two... Uh, I might have to look it up in a minute on the um, on the old uh, old inter interwebs. So flying oh, it's the flying teapot. Okay, are oh, the albums flying teapot? Oh, it's oh, I don't know. Okay, so the album is called Flying Teapot. Flying Teapot is the third studio album by the progressive rock band Gong, uh, originally released on Virgin Records, and this is a Virgin Records record, uh, so it's quite an old one, nineteen seventy three. It was the second entry in the Virgin catalogue. Wow, okay. And was a second only to Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells. That's 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 crazy. Okay, love that. Going to Discogs now, see if that tells us anything. So Francis Bacon on bass and piano. Uh, Ratched, <laughs> who are we? On congas. Dingo design, Maggie design. Um... The Good Count Bloom Dido Bad de Grass Flute Tanner Saxophone Tanner Saxophone Tenor Saxophone Soprano Saxophone Steve Hillside Hillage on guitar The Submarine Captain on guitar Dingo Virgin on guitars vocals Giorgio Gomlemski on producer So who are these people? So this is Flying Teapot subtitled Radio Gnome Invisible Part 1 uh, it's the first of the Radio Gnome Invisible Trilogy of albums, followed by Angel's Egg in December and You in the following October. This trilogy forms a central part of the Gong mythology. The flying teapot idea itself was influenced by Russell's teapot. It was the first Gong album to feature English guitarist Steve Hillage, although he contributed relatively little as he arrived late in the recording process. Oh, right, OK. Uh, David Allen stated, Steve Hillage arrived eventually, but there wasn't a lot of space left. He played some rhythmic wah-wah, some jazzy chords, and a spacey solo on Flying Teapot. Um, see if we've got to find anything else that tells us about who's in the band. Um, prog Archives, that might tell us something. Lineup of musicians. Right, okay, this is better. We've actually got real late names here. Right, the lineup of musicians is Dave Allen, David Allen on guitar vocals, Steve Hillage on guitars, Christian Trich on slide guitar, 
Jilly Smythe, organ vocals, Francis Mose, uh, synth, uh, pianos, bass, Tim Blake. You know Tim Blake. We know Tim Blake. Um, synth and vocals, Didier Maleb, Mal, Malherb, uh, soprano and tenor saxes, Laurie Allen on drums and percussion, uh, Rashid Huari on congas. Uh, right, okay, so I think we have a handle on this now, sort of. I th I think it's going to be a bit crazy, a bit bonkers, a bit fun. It's going to be, and it can't not be. It cannot not be. Um, do you want to know what the names of the songs are? <laughs> That'd be helpful as well, wouldn't it? I think this is going to sort of give you an indication of where we're going to with this as well. So we have side one, Radio Gnome Invisible and Flying Teapot. And then we have side two, we have uh, four more tracks. <laughs> the Pothead Pixies, yes. Uh, the Octave Doctors and the Crystal Machine. Uh, so that's going to be Tim Blake because his uh, album is called Crystal Machine, wasn't it? And we have Zero, The Hero and The Witch's Spell. And then finally, Witch's Song, I Am Your Pussy. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. 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 Let's listen to some music. Here we go. <sighs> Embrace the weird. I don't, maybe I don't know if I didn't know the album, but I certainly have heard this before. Maybe when I was 16 or 17. <laughs> Feel me, 
This is fab. Absolutely fab. Sounds like the music I have going on in my head all the time. <laughs> oh, superb. Awesome. Right. So, I believe that's the end of the first track. And we now move on to... <laughs> Flying Teapot. Twelve and a half minute track. You think about Richard Branson now as the uh, multi, multi, multi millionaire, if not billionaire, that he is. Huge business empire. It all started here. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it, to think that? That he staked his reputation and his future on progressive weirdness, tubular bells, and gong. of soundscape.
looks like Hawkwind's weird little brother. You know? Very much in the same mould, but just slightly out there. Very insistent groove. I'd imagine you couldn't be able to see from one side of the studio from to the other the amount of smoke that's in there.
was the name of the song I listened to? It was uh, on the um, in the court of the Crimson King. So the first song, side two, just have this weird, just sort of dissolved into random nothingness. It's kind of doing the same sort of thing. There we go. <laughs> We're there. It's done. Right. Well, I wouldn't blame you if you thought this is a bit too weird and don't want to continue listening to it. Um, I, on the contrary, am <laughs> really, really into it. I, I, I embrace the weirdness. I love the quirkiness, the the strangeness, the the obvious uh, musicality and musicianship of the people in the band who are just either so off their off their faces that they are going off in completely random weird directions and coming up with something that no one would ever have thought of or they are uh just having fun and i don't know which it is maybe it's both but it's extraordinary it's brilliant i love it it's just so different and childlike but in a a childlike, but in a very adult way. It's, it's an odd, odd sort of odd um, juxtaposition, I guess. Um, <laughs> right, we have another side of of craziness to go, um, and we have we'll start off with <laughs> the Pothead Pixies. Then we have the Octave Doctors and the Crystal Machine, Zero the Hero and the Witch's Spell, and wrap up with Witch's Song. I am your pussy. <laughs> right well i hope you're enjoying this and if you're not no worries there'll be something along hmm, at some point fairly soon as i say maybe not in the next couple of days so i'm gonna be away but uh you know anyway i'll see you on the next video whenever and whatever that is and until then this is jim over and <laughs>